FG commences drainage clearage in Lagos State after heavy downpour floods. Lagos got soaked like a forgotten sponge after a whole day of rain. Wow, that rain was something else, right? A whole day of it. And let me tell you, it wasn't just an inconvenience. Businesses had to shut down, people couldn't get to work, and there was even a building collapse in Mushi. That's terrible. Flaws like this can cause serious damage to property and infrastructure. And that hurts everyone's pockets. Not cool, Rain. Not cool at all. We Lagosians work hard, and the last thing we need is a downpour messing with our hustle. We don't want that. Remember that time Uncle Ayo missed his important meeting because the entire street became a temporary lagoon? Or about Auntie Bola having to close her shop for a whole day because the flood almost reached the chin chin display. <clears throat> this flood hit us hard in the pocket, folks. Lost wages, lost sales, it put a dent in everyone's hustle. But fear not, Lagosians, the federal government is on the case, ordering the cleaning of drainages to prevent future aquatic adventures. You know, it's great they're doing this now in the middle of the rainy season. I guess better late than never, right? Hopefully this will keep the traffic flowing and everyone dry, but this begs the question. Why wait until the rainy season before enacting proactive measures? And now for the solutions. Considering Lagos is in the middle of the rainy season, the directive from the minister is a wonderful development. This will prevent a recurrence since man hours and valuable time was lost in gridlocks across the city. Government stepping up, better drainage is on the way, and maybe we'll even get a seaway or two. You know, just in case the Atlantic Ocean decides to you know, pop up for the tea, they're going to clean out those clogged drains like nobody's business. Imagine it. No more wading through murky water that would make Mama Iko jealous to get to work. Hopefully, this clean drains will be the ultimate Wahala free solution proof. No more floods to disrupt our daily grind. Urban planning regulations. Yes, please. Let's not build our homes on a floodplain, people. Who wants waterfront property anyway? And let's clean up our act, Lagos. No more clogging those drains with garbage. Please, let's stop doing that. Let's aim for a gold medal in waste management, not a bronze in blockages. Lastly, teamwork makes the dream work, folks. Collaboration between various stakeholders in the private and public sector is necessary to keep our city dry and thriving. Now, the question is, how long will this magic last? Will these drains be that trendy outfit you bought at Balogun Markets that shrunk in the wash after one wear? We gotta stay vigilant, Lagosians. But hey, Lagos is a city of warriors. We've been through overflowing markets, unpredictable power cuts, and even the occasional masquerade chase. We'll bounce back from this too. Let's support our local businesses as they get back on their feet, especially these bolly sellers who might have lost some stocks. Chin up, champions. And let's remind the government, with respect of course, that the clean drainage system is a happy, thriving Lagos. So what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to follow us at Official Conga TV for more Lagos Wahala <laughs> and some laughs too. Until next time, stay informed and keep that Lagos spirit fighting. It's what makes this city the incredible place it is.